Hey guys, today's video is going to be another makeup collection video, but today it's going to be mostly powder face products, so it's going to be like face powders, bronzers, blushes, and highlights. Also going to be my eyeliners and a few of like random eye things that I have. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out, and if you want to see more of my makeup collection, then just keep on watching. First thing I have in here is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Setting Powder. Love this stuff. I just tried it out in a recent video and it is so, so good. You get such a huge amount of product in this. It is a great shade. Love this stuff. This is the LA Girl Pro Powder and this is the HD Setting Powder and I have the shade Banana Yellow. I also really enjoy this stuff. It's really good. I'll probably purchase the Wet n Wild one just because of the price and the amount that you get, but this is also a really, really good option. This is the Milani Translucent Banana Make It Last Setting Powder. I really feel like I want to love this. I'll have to use it a little bit more and see, but it just seemed like when I used it before it was a little too dark and it kind of darkened up my concealer when I used it, so. But I want to make this work because I do like the formula. It's just the color. I have the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Lace. This is a powder that a lot of people love, but I don't know why they chose this packaging because it's terrible. I always end up having to pour this into another powder just to use it, and so for that reason, I kind of feel like I won't purchase it again because I do have powders that I like that are in better packaging. You guys know this is my holy, holy grail, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and this is in the shade Deep Bronzer. I don't really need to say much about this because I won't shut up about it on my channel. It is so good. It's my favorite. And I feel like I'm getting close to hitting pan. This is the Pretty Vulgar Bronzed Beast and Get Snitch Bronzer. This is a great bronzer. I got this in a boxy charm, and surprisingly, it's a really good color for me. It's really blendable and buildable. It's not too intense, and I really do like this. Pretty Vulgar comes out with some stuff that I enjoy a lot. This Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Soleil. This has some glitter in it, but honestly, if you tap off the glitter, it's really not that noticeable. I really do enjoy this bronzer. Um, I use it more as a bronzer topper. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and this is the little travel size which is how I purchased makeup because I tend to never hit pan on things. I do enjoy this. I feel like it's kind of like a contour bronzer. It's more ashy so you could definitely use it as a contour but this used to be my holy girl bronzer until I discovered the physician's formula one but it's still a really really good bronzer and if you can tell but I have gone down quite a bit on this so this is the wet n wild mega glow contouring palette in the shade dulce de leche. This is a really nice palette from the drugstore if you are a beginner or you're just on a budget. I don't really typically use powders under my eyes like this, but this is a really nice bronzer. I know it's for contouring, but I feel like it kind of bronzes too. It's kind of like one of those shades that can be both. It's very soft, so it does have like a lot of kick up and stuff, but it's so cheap and this is like a huge thing. I feel like you know, it's worth the money. This is the Tarte Tardis Pro Glow to Go palette. I remember looking at this for such a long time before buying it and thinking this was going to be it. It had two highlighters and a contour. What more did I need? And I used this for such a long time. Both of these are really gorgeous. They're not glittery at all. They look very glow from within. And the contour shade is nice too. And I feel like, again, it's one of those that could kind of double as a bronzer. I just got this in a boxy charm recently. This is the Perfector Face Palette. This is what it looks like. It's really, really beautiful. This has a lot of things. It has a contour, a blush, two to three-ish highlighters, if you think this is a highlighter, which I do. And this finishing powder, which doesn't do much for me personally, but definitely a nice palette. my next drawer and it has blushes and highlights in it. You would think blush was my favorite thing with all the blushes I have in here and it's not but here we are. I have two of the Burt's Bees blushes. These are a wonderful formula. I have the shades Bear Peach and Toasted Cinnamon which you probably heard plenty about. These are definitely some of my favorite formulas. I reach for Bear Peach a lot. I have two of the Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes. I have the shades Mellow Wine and Apricot in the Middle. These are both really great shades. The only thing that sucks about these blushes is the packaging is kind of terrible, so it will break. There's another blush that I wanted to pick up from this collection, and I think it was like some peach color, but I don't need any more blush to be honest. These are really good blushes. They're really good formula, 
They're really blendable. Honestly, blush is something that I'm not super picky about, so. Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. I bought this because everyone loves it and is hyped up over it. But I kind of heard that it's different now. Like, I think I have the newer one. People say it used to be peachier, and now it looks more pink. So, that's a little disappointing because I do love a good peachy blush. I do like this blush. It does give you a, like, glow. So then I have this Laura Geller Baked Blush in Brighton in the shade Honeysuckle. I got this as a sample one time at Ulta. I really, really like it, actually. I've held on to it for a long time, and I do use it. But blush is just something that I don't hit pan on because I have so many blushes. I have a full size at Laura Geller Blaked Blush in Brighton. And this is in the shade Tropical Hues. I will say this is a little bit more bold than I typically prefer, but I do like it. Got this in a boxy charm. And again, it comes with this weird half mirror thing, but I do enjoy this a lot. I just am more light handed with it because it is a little more bright. I have the pretty vulgar Make Them Blush blush in the shade Prim Vixen. I don't know why I got the most unwearable shade ever. To me, this is not even a blush. This is an eyeshadow. I would never wear this on my face. I can go really, really, really light handed with this and make it work, but this is a huge ass pink eyeshadow, so. So for blush palettes, I have quite a few. I have this Milani Rose Powder Blush Trio, and I got the shade Floral Fantasy. There is another shade. Guys, I love this. I know the Milani blushes have been raved about for quite some time, but I'm late to the train, but I'm getting on it still. This is a great blush. Probably the middle shade is my favorite. I have this Vegas Ney by Lamia, which is a brand that I've not really heard of, but I do see it at TJ Maxx pretty frequently. This is just a blush, blush palette, I guess. I wouldn't say this is my favorite blush formula. I think it's a little powdery, but I do like it. Picked it up because it came with a brush and it was only $5. It does come with a nice mirror and the blushes are nice, so. I do enjoy this. I have this Wander Beauty Dusk to Dawn Blush and Highlighter Palette. This was exclusive to BoxyCharm, I'm pretty sure. Comes with two blushes and a highlight. Um, I do enjoy both of these blushes and the highlight, so this is great for me. I'm able to get use out of all three products. I'm really glad that I have this and I use it pretty frequently. To move on to the highlighter portion, I have this e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter, which I just recently got. A friend gave it to me. It's in the shade Cloud. And I never thought I would get on this jelly highlighter trend craze thing, but you need this because it's so cheap and it makes you look wet. And I love it. I have these Cover FX glitter drops and I have the shade Shake Well Before Use. Do they not have a shade name? Nova. I think is what it is. These are very, very glittery. So I feel like for me, this is something I would use on my body for a special event. But it's not something that I would ever purchase on my own because CoverFX is a pricier brand. And I know they're known for their like glitters and stuff, but I hang on to it in case I have a special event or something that I want to be glittery for. This is another BoxyCharm item I got. This is the Tarte Tartus Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter. I feel like it's a little, little too glittery for my face personally, but this is something that I could definitely use on my body. It's a little less glittery than the Cover FX Glitter Drops. I have this Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in the shade Diamond Dust. There was a like couple of months where Ulta was just basically giving out Laura Geller left and right. It's a really pretty highlighter. It does have that pink shift, so it is very interesting. I do enjoy this, but it's not like a everyday highlighter for me because of the pink shift. But I hang on to it for you know what, I'm feeling a little feisty. You guys already know about this. This is the Milani Stellar Lights Highlighter Palette, and I have the shade Rose Glow. Love all three of these highlights. I typically mix these two shades. I'm more of a rose gold highlight person myself, but the gold highlighter is wonderful as well. Can't beat it. I have this Bare Minerals Translucent Powder Duo that I have had for so, so long. Matte side is completely gone, as you can see. I typically don't hit paint on a lot of things, but I was obsessed with this translucent powder for a really long time. And the glow side is barely touched because I didn't want to set my whole face with it, but now I've realized that there's other ways I can use it. So that is why I hang on to it. The last thing in my collection, I don't know if I'm even going to keep it. This is the Naked Cosmetics Holographic Highlighter Collection. It's got six very unwearable highlights. These are definitely things that I would have to use as eyeshadows. 
I hang on to it because I don't want to throw out everything that's like colorful in my collection just in case I decide to do a more fun look but this is not something I reach for regularly. I feel like if I did like a festival tutorial or just a crazy like Halloween tutorial I might use these. But And here I have just like a few random things. I have like a single shadow that I don't know what to do with because I don't have a magnetic palette or anything. So this is a ColourPop shadow in the shade Come and Get It. It's a really pretty shade. Can't say I reach for it because it's a single shadow just like this. want to get some use out of it, but I need it to go in a palette that I'm going to reach for. I have this NYX Glitter Primer. I use this pretty frequently to make eyeshadows pop. I really, really like it. Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in the shade Light. I use this every single time I do an eyeshadow look. It's a great primer. I haven't really found a drugstore one that does it for me, but I also haven't looked that hard, to be honest, because I really, really like this stuff. So if you know a good drugstore one, leave it down below. I have two of these new sticks magnetic eye colors one of them is matte and the other one is luminous i have these shades taupe and copper I know how to use these now so i feel a little better about them but i won't say that i reach for them a lot just because i reach for palettes but this is something i'm definitely going to try to give more of a go and if not i'm going to pass it along to someone else who i feel will use it more often steve laurent loose powder i guess it's a loose eyeshadow in the shade antique olive Someone gave this to me. I don't even know anything about this brand. I don't know if it's cruelty free or anything, but I thought I would try it out because it's a pretty unique color. It's like an olive -y shimmer, but it's a loose powder. So I felt like I wanted to use that on my channel and I just haven't gotten around to it. And the last thing in this random spot in my drawer is this Cover FX Shimmer Veil. It's a liquid eyeshadow, I'm pretty sure. It's in the shade Amethyst. Liquid eyeshadow just intimidates me so much, but I also don't typically reach for colors like this when I'm doing my eyeshadows so I'm gonna hang on to it but probably not very long to be completely honest in this next slot I have eyeliners I have this pretty vulgar the ink gel eyeliner in the shade blackest got this in a boxy charm and I think it's pretty great it's a really good eyeliner and it's huge I can't get over how much product you get I really do like this if I'm reaching for a gel eyeliner I have this bang beauty chocolate gel eyeliner I haven't used this a whole lot I got this in a boxy charm you can see I barely touched it I wanted to get into it more because sometimes you know brown eyeliner is nice so I hang on to it just in case. So sometimes if things sit in my collection too long, I just give them away. I have three of these Pixie by Petra Endless Silky Eye Pencils. They actually came in a kit together. This is the shade Copper Glow, Matte Nude, and Black. Really enjoy these. These are really silky. I have this Tarte Eye Jewels Glitter Liner. It comes with two different sides. As you can see, if it will focus, this side is kind of gross. I have to really shake it up if I want to use it, but I typically use this side. This is in the shade White Gold. I like to use it sometimes when I'm doing like holiday looks, but it's kind of gross and I probably really need to throw it out. These are both NYX liners. This one's Vivid Brights in the shade Vivid Sapphire, and this one is just their matte liquid liner black these are pretty good they're kind of like dupes for the urban decay liners they're just not my favorite liner they don't do anything special for me i'm really bad at winged liners so this is the kat von d tattoo liner in the shade trooper got this um using some points at sephora and i really needed a new eyeliner so this is what i got very black very matte goes on smooth and I really do like it. I don't think I would purchase it again because I'm so cheap and I heard there's a physician's formula dupe. I also have this LA Girl Glide Gel Liner and I have it in the shade Very Black. And it is. It's very black and it's very glidey. It's great for the waterline. I'm not super, super picky about my gel liner, so I enjoy it. This is called Vintage by... Jessica Lips Lipskind Smoky Eye Pencil. This is in the shade Jet Black. Got this in a boxy charm. It does the job. That's it. I have this tiny little Milani waterproof eyeliner in the shade black. It is so tiny I can't even read the description but it's Milani. The packaging is reminiscent of some Urban Decay ones. I do enjoy this but I do think I like the LA Girl one just a little bit better but this was a great great liner.
Hey guys, for some reason, I guess it was late at night and I totally forgot to explain the eyelashes that were in the exact drawer I was just in. So there's only a couple of those, but sorry about that. And that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.